Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is May the 3rd of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. I hope all of you are doing well, that you are basking in the abundance God has for you, and that you are continually keeping your eyes on Jesus and what the Lord is doing in the world today. And of course, that entails what the Lord is doing with his church in this day. We do go through challenges in life, and so there are ups and downs. But we know that the Lord is at work building and strengthening his church. This word today will encourage you that even though things in the world may look gloomy, there is victory for the church of Jesus Christ. This word today is titled, The Overcoming Church. I hope you are blessed as you hear it today. I'll begin by reading scripture. Matthew 16, verse 18. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. We have heard this verse of scripture over and over again, because the Lord wants to encourage us that though we may think we are defeated in our circumstances. The truth is, nothing is able to thwart the church of God. I'll begin reading the word. Every dry place will spring to life as the waters of my spirit are poured out upon all flesh in this day. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. I have overcome the world, and in this day I am opening the eyes of the blind to see my presence everywhere, says the Lord. No longer will a man be with excuse, for I am revealing myself in this day as no other generation has known or experienced. Those who put their trust in the Lord will not be disappointed. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall trample the enemy underfoot and go forward in the power and anointing of the Lord. Many have tried to quench the work of my spirit. Many have tried to frustrate the plan of the Lord, but in this day no longer will the enemy prevail. He will be crushed beneath your feet, and you shall tread on the head of the serpent, the deceiver, who has deceived from the beginning. No longer will the people be bound and held under his spell. Their eyes shall be opened, and they shall see the truth, and the truth shall set them free. Every idle word spoken against my elect shall fall to the ground, and every curse spoken over them shall be cut off. Great is the Lord, and great is his faithfulness throughout all generations, and this is the generation of the upright. This is the generation that shall go in and possess the land. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord, and in this day I am taking vengeance on the enemy of your soul and the works of darkness round about you. Look up, for your redemption is drawing nigh. You shall be loosed to go forth to accomplish that which I have ordained of you. You shall go into the world and make disciples of men. The train is on track. In this day, the speed at which the will of God is being accomplished is great, and the train is barreling along. 
You are in my will. You are on track. The last connections have been made and the way is clear to go forward full steam. The train is a rapid express train and gains speed as it goes along. The body of Christ is likened to the train. As she moves forward in the things I am revealing to her in this day, she is picking up speed. Soon she will be traveling at full speed to accomplish the work that she has been ordained for in this hour, says the Lord. There have been some insurmountable peaks she has had to climb and roadblocks to go around, but I have not left her nor forsaken her, and I have been faithful to bring her through. You are my beloved, and I am in your midst. I have set my seal upon you, and you shall triumph in this hour. Great and marvelous are my ways and my works, and in this hour the work will begin. Continue to elevate the name of the Lord. Continue to minister thanksgiving, praise, and adoration unto me. For in this my hand shall sweep across, and the winds of my spirit shall blow, and those who enter into my sanctuary will experience the presence of the Lord. They shall be drawn by the sweetness of my presence and wooed by my gentleness and love. They shall come and receive of me the gift of life. I am building my church, and those coming in are blocks being fitted into place. Multitudes will come to fit into the structure, for they shall be raised up in the power and anointing of my Spirit to take their place, a place that has been ordained for them. Welcome these in. Make room for them, for they are the ones I am sending. Give, and it shall be given unto you. As you make room for these coming in, you will be blessed, for the whole body will function as it should. As each one takes his place in the body, the structure is being built and strengthened. Make room, says the Lord. Do not frustrate the plan of the Lord, and you shall go forth with great momentum. You shall go forward to bring in the lost, those without hope. Do not stand in judgment, but make room for those I am sending to you to take a part in the work of the harvest. Many are coming. They are the prodigals coming home, and they will be used alongside of you in the work of the harvest. Recognize the call that has been placed upon their lives. Do not quench the Spirit, but bless the work of the Holy Spirit in their lives and prophesy life into them, calling them forth, just as Lazarus was called forth from the grave. Anoint them and release them into the calling upon their lives. Lay hands on them and bless them, for they shall be sent forth to gather in the fruit of the harvest. Commission them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to go forth, and you will see great and marvelous things as you have not known. For this is truly the Lazarus generation that will be raised up in this day, those who were dead, brought to life again by the resurrection power of Jesus, and they shall go forth in the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit to accomplish my will, says the Lord. In this word today, the Lord is assuring us that he is moving us forward as his body, that his church is being raised up in this day, that it is on target, it's on track. And just as a train barrels down the tracks, the Lord is barreling his church forward 
into what he has for them. In this building of the church, many are coming in, many who have been hopeless, many who have been dead in their sins, who had given up on life. The Lord is telling us they are as Lazarus, whom the Lord brought back to life again. And the Lord is asking us to make room for these because he will use them greatly to bring in the harvest. Once again, this is not a new word. The Lord has been speaking about building his victorious church, but he is encouraging us that he has stepped into the picture in this generation in a way not known in other generations. He is releasing his spirit in great measures and giving his church the authority to crush Satan beneath their feet. The Lord truly is building an overcoming church. And so I hope this word today will encourage you that those who put their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ will not be disappointed that they will see the goodness of God in this generation. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.